The supply and demand models show us how efficient a market can be. There are benefits or surpluses to be realized by both consumers and producers. The somewhat triangular area labeled by F shows the area of consumer surplus, which shows that the equilibrium price in the market was less than what many of the consumers were willing to pay. Point J on the demand curve shows that even at the price of $90, consumers would have been willing to purchase a quantity of $20 million. The somewhat triangular area labeled by G shows the area of producer surplus, which shows that the equilibrium price received in the market was more than what many of the producers were willing to accept for their products. For example, point K on the supply curve shows that at a price of $45, firms would have still been willing to supply a quantity of $14 million. In markets that are regulated by price controls, some of the efficiency is lost. We see this impact of regulation in this example. The model on the left shows that the original equilibrium price is $600, with a quantity of $20,000. Consumer surplus is T plus U and producer surplus is V plus W plus X. A price ceiling is imposed at $400, so firms in the market now produce only a quantity of 15,000. As a result, the new consumer surplus is T plus V, while the new producer surplus is only X. U and W represent what economists term deadweight loss caused by an inefficiency in the market. The model on the right shows the original equilibrium at $8 and quantity of $1,800. Consumer surplus is G plus H plus J and producer surplus is I plus K. A price floor is imposed at $12, which means that quantity demanded falls to $1,400. As a result, the new consumer surplus is G and the new producer, producer surplus is H plus I. In this case, J and K represent the deadweight loss of inefficiency in the market.